My name is Nathan and I'm an oaf. And what that means, you'll figure out on this channel. But I want to start with something that is more important than figuring out what an oaf is. For me, it's the heart and soul of why I do this. My jam is to help people to understand just how great the outdoors can be and, and really help them to appreciate it and find personal meaning and connection. That's my jam, I love it. It's my, my favorite thing to do is to help people to discover that for themselves. What I've learned is that people have barriers that prevent them from doing that, that stop them. They want to be better explorers of the outdoors. They might have a desire to, to do it, but there's stuff in the way. So I'm gonna talk about three barriers that prevent people from going outside and how I will address that on this channel. Stick with me. The first barrier that people often encounter in the outdoors or that, they, that stops them from being able to explore is they don't have a whole lot of outdoor knowledge or skills or experience for that matter. The skills required might be things like first aid or oh, <laughs> Some little grouse scared the crap out of me. Knowledge of wildlife, understanding of what to do in emergency situations, that kind of knowledge. Then there's also the knowledge of, you know, root finding or packing a backpack or even the kinds of food that you should eat. So that's all wrapped up into that, that outdoor knowledge, skills, and experience. On this channel, I'm, I'm dedicated to providing that knowledge. Uh, I used to be a high school teacher and I love teaching things. It's one of my, my other passions. And so I'll be creating content on this channel to help people access that knowledge. I'll also be creating courses that uh, can be purchased separately. But, but more importantly, my goal is to make my passion, this thing that I love doing, something that will help supplement my own income, but it'll also get people outside and help people to, to be better explorers. A second barrier, uh, some people might call this gear, but it's much more than just gear. I call this the accessories barrier or the accessories and a assets, or you can make it all three A's if you want. Access to accessories and assets, I think is the, the better way of putting it all. Often this is a price issue or even goes back to knowledge of what kind of gear you need. But it goes further than that in that the people around you are part of that equation. If you've got people around you that can teach, that can help you to learn about what kinds of things you need, or even go with you on outdoor excursions, that's a big part of it. Even the, the locations, sometimes people feel like that's a barrier in and of itself. I don't have access to a great place to go hiking. I don't have access to the outdoors. My goal is to not only teach about what gear is good, what gear is bad, how to, you know, what things you're, you're gonna wanna prepare and have, but I wanna be able to provide that access to not just information, but access to finding groups, ways to find other people to hike with. All right, now the last barrier to exploring the outdoors for people. This one's a big one. This one prevents a lot of people from being able to go outside. When it comes down to it, it's things like your fitness, uh, the type of food that you eat or the habits that you've created. So really poor habits, poor fitness, poor food uh, habits. All of those things can be a, a massive barrier for some people. And I really wanna let people know that it doesn't have to be. And I, I can't stress that more. I, I really feel like something that I can provide for people that come to my channel, that engage in my content, they can feel a sense of hope that you can find ways to get outside. Maybe you haven't thought of it. Maybe it's just a question of understanding what is possible and what what's within your realm and starting small and setting goals. My exploration of this channel, of this business that I've created, my goal is to make that easier for people. I'm not that interested in 
finding people who are already super fit and super energized. I'm a good example of somebody who struggles with you know, a weight gain. I'm a type two diabetic. It's something that, you know, I struggle with personally. However, I know that I can improve if I want to. And I know that I can actually encourage others to do the same effectively. And so that's, that's really at the heart of why I wanted, why I include that as part of that, that category. So as you know, some of you, some keen observers will already figure out, hey, wait a second, outdoor skills plus accessories plus fitness, that spells oaf. And you guessed it. Yeah, I'm an oaf and I'm proud of it, okay? I struggle with things. I have things that hold me back. I struggle with depression and I have, I've been through stuff before. All of us have. We've all got stuff going on that kind of prevents us from realizing our best selves. So at the core of what I'm saying here, I created this channel because I love helping people realize that they've got a lot more potential than they think. And so my purpose and the place and the format for me to teach that and for me to deliver that to you, the masses, is to go outside, is to see things that inspire me, that help me to feel more human, feel more connected to something. I will say this, nature in the outdoors is not a fix-all, okay? It's not a band-aid either though. It's not just a, a quick thing you do and then things are, are fixed for the moment. Understanding the outdoors and your connection to the outdoors and how nature influences all of that, that is a relationship that you build over time. And as you build that relationship, I know this for a fact, as you establish and maintain at least that relationship with the outdoors and nature, you'll find it will give back to you. It'll give back time and time again. This is one of the most beautiful skies I've seen in a long time. It's been so cold lately. And uh, man, the sky is just ablaze tonight with color. I hope that comes through. From one oaf to another, I'll see you on the next one.